are live here with another episode of Mini Life <laughs> Podcast. I am your host, Mini Mike from Worcestershire. We are here <laughs> with Scrappity <laughs> Heap of the Yard, Sean. What up, and... everybody? Welcome back to a better podcast. Ooh, welcome back Ooh. to a better podcast. We are here with our lovely guest, Mountainy Steering Wheel winner, s- owner of Sunny the Mini, <laughs> Sunny with an O. Yeah, uh, the lovely Lauren, welcome to the show. Hello, hello. Thank you for having me. Finally. <laughs> How long last, right? I don't know. It's been like a year in the making. Finally got the card on, so. <laughs> See, everyone just, everyone, no one believes me like, oh, you should, you should ask this person to be on. You should ask this person. <sighs> Odds are I've asked them. It's just, you yeah. know, it's a lot like, of circling just, back. Yeah, I'm just building my studio and here we are. <laughs> 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 well, everyone, thank you for being back on the podcast. Uh, go follow us at minilife.37. Um, if you really want to follow me, Goldtooth Cray or Scrapyard, Lauren, what's your Instagram? What's, what do we got here? I'm, I have it pulled up here. Lauren like underscore G <laughs> underscore Elwin. Yes. That's what it is at the moment. So go check at her out. Minute, and yeah. at the minute you can check out uh, some fresh pickies of Sunny, some rollers going super fast. I was going to say those rollers look pretty <laughs> dope. <laughs> Those yeah, do you know what? It was sick. so funny. Because uh, my, my friend Dan, we've, we've been friends for years. Um, we've done loads of photography stuff together. And uh, he, he was like, oh, we, we, could tr- we could try to do some rollers if you want. But he's been doing like some mad stuff with like GT40s and Porsches. And I was like, am I, am I up to the level to have a roller by you? <laughs> Of course it is. It's a mini. They're always yeah. up to that level, right? And I, and I was like, am I going to be like fast enough? Am I going to have to like get up to like 50? Am I going to be rattling the bolts out? And he was like, <laughs> he was like, you literally have to do like 10 miles an hour and I'll do the rest. I was like, excellent news. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, if you didn't really say well, that you were going 15, dude, that looks like a, like, like a flyby. Yeah, That's a sick I know, picture. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good, it's a good like, comeback pick. <laughs> Yeah, really. It, like it's a fantastic picture just in general. Like the 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 contrast between the green and the yellow really pops with the road. Like it's a great uh, great picture. I love that picture. Very nice. Yeah, very it's very, a good very one. nice. <laughs> the most recent picture, however, is a picture of the steering wheel you won on our giveaway with Mountainy Classic. Go follow Mountainy Classic on the gram. Check out their website, Mini or <laughs> Mini. Wow. Mountainy. What is it? Mountain Inc. I always Mountain Classic.co.uk. Come on, Mike. I, no, I, I always forget if it's just uh, mountainy.co.uk. I get the, you know, we, we don't over Mike, here. We just do the dot doing com. We just how do the dot com this? thing. Did, I don't know where it's going from. It's not code UK. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I think Amer- I think Americans started the uh, dot com thing and you guys like couldn't take it. So you had to add like well, an extra but, dot the, thing. The, and... the thing is, Mike, if we're going down that rabbit hole already, the UK did create the internet so you're welcome no you didn't <laughs> i think you finally did do google you it. want it google it use the google site oh uh, whatever to we whip out the google, google. Yeah, but are we talking google.com or dot uk yeah. oh come on lauren <laughs> you can't do that to me <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, guys, if um if you do want some serials, go check out mountainclassic.co.uk and we do have a lovely ten percent discount code. So go to the checkout, type in mini life ten and get a ten percent discount. I told you, Mike. I told you. Sir Timothy John Berners Lee, an <laughs> English computer science best known for inventor of the World Wide Web, that son of a You're welcome. <sighs> I mean, we're still we're still back to back World War champs here, so <laughs> oh, can't take that away from us. Yeah, bringing out the big leagues over here. <laughs> yeah, America. Um, anyways, God bless America. Right, I'm out. I'm out, Lauren. Let's uh, let's reschedule yeah. this. How yeah. do you mute? How do you mute this thing? <laughs> <laughs> you son of a b. All right. Well, anyways. Thank you for being on. Um, like you said, it's been a year in the making. Uh, mm-hmm. I was all, I'm always looking for for people that uh, kind of make a splash on the Instagrams. You know, that's the easiest kind of low-hanging fruit because I see the car. It looks cool. You seem like an interesting person. Seems like you're not just – you don't just own a Mini. You have some sort of some sort of story that we can pull out. You're, you look like you wrench on your own car. 
um, unlike Sean. And um, so Come it's, on, man. it's cool to have that on here, you know, have somebody like minded like myself. Look, look, it's, it's, it's not my fault. I can, I can somehow make myself look pretty while standing on the not on the car, but with the car, to make some good posts for us to put on Mini Life and Mountainy. Sean's the type of a uh, hot boy that stands on like his wing, his wing, and, and everyone does, like, kicks little... off in the comments. <laughs> the little, I mean... the little prayer symbol, and like, how would you stand on that car? You're ruining the paint. Like these yeah, damn millennials. It's always the pain. It's always the pain. <laughs> Look, guys, I can't help it if I'm cool. All right, it's 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 not my fault. You're born into it rather than creating. Yeah, it, all right? it's like get on get on our level. <laughs> <laughs> oh man i love it's it it's gonna be one of those episodes isn't it it's yeah. always one of those nowadays you know we've kind of come into our own of just jibba jabbering but yeah i think the first uh, question that we always ask lauren is you know what attracted you to the classic mini was it you know something that you've always loved like how did you get into the classic mini i think uh, to be honest i think my answer is pretty boring like I was eight years old when I first got into minis and it had to be the Italian job. I feel like everybody's answer is going to be pretty similar. But um, my like dad has been into bikes, cars, if it's got an engine, you name it, he's been into it. And I used to have like a little quad bike when I was a kid and that was like my weekend and six weeks holidays riding around on my little Suzuki LT50 quad. <laughs> um, and then when I started kind of looking into the cars and stuff, um, it was just one of them things. My dad had one when he was younger. Like I, I'd seen him out and about and stuff, nothing major, but watched the Italian job, fell in love. And then my, I, I don't actually remember this memory. My dad does it pretty vaguely and he says it all the time. But um, he used to pick me up from school. I'd go and have tea at his house and he'd be dropping me back at my mum's house on a night. And he said to me, what do you think your first car is going to be then? And I was only eight. I was sat in the back staring out the window and I was like, a mini. <laughs> and he, he was like thinking, you know, a traitor binny um and as we were like chatting about it a classic came the other way and i was like one of them i want one of those and he said you want one of that you want one of them old bangers i was like yeah i want one of those and then since that that minute i've been scrolling ebay the lot for years and years and years and then my 15th birthday popped up and there sonny was on ebay um and it was like in the back of a garage with loads of like crap piled on top of it basically it was one of those like hidden gem type adverts where you, you'd scroll past it and go mm, off that one and for some reason there was something about it i was like this is the one for me so I, i'd always say to my dad, look at this one look at this one look at this one and this is the one where he kind of looked and went actually and i was like ah, i found the one we've done it <laughs> <laughs> and then that that was history basically um and then the obsession started at about age 15 onwards with my own car so there we go <laughs> See, i think i think the thing is especially with a lot of us british people most of our first cars have always been minis and they've mm -hmm. always been around the 14 to 15 age mark you know we'll spend yeah. we get in the um in our heads that we'll have the idea of we'll spend a few years tinkering on the car getting it up and ready for when we turn 17 and we can go off and do our license however mm -hmm. that is never the case because it always takes a few extra years from it's that. such a lovely dream, isn't it? But it is. It's never what happens. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I was nearly there, very, very nearly. I got it. I got it pretty much something like um, when when we bought it. It was actually an automatic originally, which was just Ooh. not going to be an option for us. We were. I was like, yeah, I need need to drive stick. <laughs> like, <laughs> what a manual. Um, so I kept it as a thousand engine, um, but I've actually still got the auto and everything sat, sat at home. But when I got it running, when I was ready to like pass my test and, and everything, there was a lot of issues with it uh, misfiring and I was constantly going through plugs like nobody's business. I'd run it for two days and then it would just be misfiring. I'm like, for God's sake. And it took a while to realize that this lovely brand new reconditioned engine I'd had done had a cracked head and oh. it was like oh god so i whipped off the head from the auto banged it on the engine that we've got in the car now and it was the most disgusting yellow greeny orange yellow thing on this lovely mowa green engine and i just banged it on the top fired it up and just ran it like that and it ran like an absolute dream and i think i left it like that for years until one day i was like i should probably paint that <laughs> so, <laughs> 
finally got that sorted but that's the thing yeah. though if it's not broken Couldn't don't fix it. it right yeah exactly i was like don't touch it don't go near it it's fine <laughs> just don't lift the bonnet it runs it moves let's just yeah that. <laughs> yeah yeah i learned that lesson the hard way several times uh, actually yeah. i don't even know if i still learn i know it i just don't know if i've learned it yet don't do it, Mike. Don't do it. <laughs> no i'm enjoying make, i'm enjoying driving mine it. around right now yeah 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 wow interesting so um I, did you that's not boring because i mean it's not boring to me um because I, I you know people always ask me like how did you get into minis and i, I honestly don't remember i like mm -hmm. don't i don't have like a, a, a pinpointed thing in my memory like that i think um i think it was more so like my dad travels a lot for uh work and we were, you know, fortunate enough to go with him a lot of places. And I, I remember going to Europe, Europe and, you know, England and Italy and all these, you know, kind of, you know, normal places that Americans would vacation. And uh, <laughs> they, you guys have a ton of uh, small cars there that growing up in Texas, we did not have. Like we had big mm -hmm. trucks, you know. And I think that's what kind of really sparked it. It was like maybe seeing like a you know, uh, mini and smart cars and, um, you know, fiats and things like that. But, um, that's cool. Yeah. Cause I, I think growing up, I think the first Italian job that I saw was like Marky Mark Wahlberg, you know, yeah. the, the, oh, wow. the new one, yeah. the new one. But at that time I did want a classic. I didn't want, you know, I would, I wouldn't have minded a, uh, uh, new mini and i always forget so you guys why let me ask this question this always pops in my head but i never ask it your guys's license is at 17 though correct like that's when you can yeah. actually start driving what prompts you guys to get a car at 15 like i feel like that's a very common age for you guys to get a car i'll let you answer it, that one Lauren. yeah okay i think it kind of well it depends if you're like stupid like me and want to do a project and think it's going to take 10 minutes <laughs> or if you just want to buy a car and drive like i come from a family of of people that seem to find something that they think is like a hidden gem and they're like oh we're gonna make loads of money on this and then realize that it was just <laughs> <it's not happening. laughs> and then we get too attached and we want to just keep them all um like me and my dad between us are just absolutely shocking at, at coming up with a new project and we end up with loads of them and we're like what have we done um but i i don't know i think it's just a i think it's just been a bit of a culture thing like my mom when she passed her test she just like got a car off she went job done in fact actually she had a motorbike before she had a car that was like her thing um so that's what that's what she did um my dad he's always been into like bikes so he was always doing his bikes up before he got a car um and then, yeah, all my other friends were never really bothered about getting a license. Like, out of my friends, I think there's only, like, me and a couple that do actually drive or did their test at 17. The rest were, like, mm. still getting the train and the bus and asking me for a lift. <laughs> so mm. I think it was just me out of everybody that decided to get a project or a classic. But I think it kind of depends on your interests. I think, for me, it was a hobby thing. I wanted to have a mm. go at something different. And I was like, let's learn something different um and i already liked cars i already kind of had a bit of a dabble in engines and stuff like playing with my little quad on a weekend and i thought i want to do something a bit bigger but not massive so let's go with a mini <laughs> that was why i ended up here. <laughs> so i think yeah, yeah i think it kind of depends what what you want to do if you want to just yeah. get up and go get a car but if you want to have something a bit different and learn on the job i guess get yourself a project <laughs> yeah yeah, I think that that might be some of it too. Is that um, you know you, you guys can pick up a car or an older car like that and learn to you know change the oil and the spark plugs and just do little maintenance jobs on it. And then by the time you have your actual license, you're kind of good to go. It's like a good learning curve. But you also have, well, I, I, I don't really know, but it sounds as if you have like a good public transportation bus and trains and stuff where in Texas oh, yeah, when they're not on strike yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like we're forced into tinker culture because of it yeah it's like you better learn how to fix your car because we're not taking you today <laughs> that's it <laughs> what the damn london taxi isn't coming about 
<laughs> oh, Wait, my, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Should we go down that Uber rabbit hole? Did you not know what Uber was, Sean? Was that I, what it was? I can't get Uber here. They really? don't exist. Mate, I'm they don't in the countryside. I don't Lauren, have do you Ubers. have Uber? Um, I mean, I'm proper out in the sticks. We don't get any food deliveries, but even I get an Uber. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Hmm. Well, interesting. Oh, anyways. I think... I think one of the most soul destroyed things for me was I passed my test, but I couldn't drive my car, so I was still getting the bus to school, and I was like, oh, oh, "This is just not." Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Well, well, well. Yeah, well, it was because it was because of all the cracked head business. Like I'd been going out with my dad with like my provisional and stuff, because he said to me, "You are going to pass your test in a modern car, but you need to learn how to drive a classic." And I was like, "You have a point. It has four mm-hmm. gears, and that is it. So <laughs> I'm going to have to learn." Mm-hmm. Um, so we'd like go out on a weekend, but we kept having like weird issues with it, with it misfiring and everything. So by the time I passed my test, I didn't tell anybody because they had a cancellation because I was waiting like months in advance. Um, and they had a cancellation and they said, do you want to do it tomorrow? And I was like, yes, my mum was on holiday. My dad had no clue. And I thought I'm just going to go and do it. Passed. And I like rang him up and I was like, I've passed my test. And he was like, you little bugger the car's not ready and i was like yeah well we better crack on, haven't we? i was like me and you in the garage this weekend do you want for it it was like yeah i'm gonna have to be now so <laughs> yeah. and that's so fun that brings back so many memories of uh passing my test and and first driving experiences what a great time i i like you said i had friends too that didn't do it right away i was like how could you not like that was that yeah. was like my gateway at, that sounds weird gate gateway out but like it's your freedom ca- isn't it yeah yeah like I, that's always been how cars feel to me like obviously it's like I love a safe the tink- space isn't it yeah, yeah it really is like i love yeah. so many aspects of what cars provide like it, it provides the freedom to drive be you know thinking it's like i can tinker on it and i'm it's just an ex- escape of like not reality but just you know the world is kind of crazy, right? Especially right now. Yeah. So it's, it's a great, it's a great <laughs> yeah. time to something about it. You time. Know? And it. Yeah. And it's also though the vintage cars, the classic cars, because it's it's actually like uh, you have to be involved in it. Like new mm-hmm. cars, you can just jump in, blah blah. You, like literally not pay attention, and and still get where you're going. But like you're gonna like the mini tries to kill you sometimes. You know, it's a little darty but, sometimes. <laughs> yeah yeah wow <laughs> so tell me um so okay you were obsessed with mini since age eight and you were scrolling ebay.co.uk yeah, and... yeah the uk version yeah, <laughs> the, yeah the, the uk the uk version because you weren't finding them here um <laughs> and there was not the uh, mobile app yet at that time yeah. so um... i wasn't ready to get into the world of importing at age eight <laughs> <laughs> hey, you would have made some serious money by now, then. <laughs> oh, if only I knew. <laughs> and uh, so this this yellow mini pops up on eBay, mm-hmm. and um, you convince your your uh, your parents to buy it. All right. So what when you get it? What what did you do? Like you know, it wasn't quite running yet. So tell us one. What kind of mini is it? And you mm-hmm. know, describe it a little bit for those that may not um, know. And then two, tell us kind of what you, you did uh, um, to kind of get it up and running and then we'll kind of transition into, you know, where it's at now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's gone, to, well, I say it's gone through some transformations. It hasn't, it's not looked any different any time I've ever done anything to it, to be honest. Um, but <laughs> Sonny, and his nickname Sonny because he's Primula Yellow, uh, is a 1982 classic mini Mayfair. Um, the minute I saw it, I just kind of knew the colour was so me, like, just oh, chaotic <laughs> like I just loved it the minute I saw it um and it was my dad really that like my dad is like like me a proper technophobe like neither of us are that good with tech and he didn't have an eBay account but his friend did so we could sit and see the listing and it was counting down and we had his friend on speakerphone <laughs> bidding for us <laughs> and I was like 15 at this point um and we were both stood there like watching the countdown and we were like put this bid in put this bid every time it went up anyway we won it at the very last second and someone else put a bid in at the exact same time we did and we were like have we got it have we won it have we done it um oh, and we, we got it 
So I'd gone to school, like I was 15, so I was still at school and I got a phone call from him being like, do you want to see your birthday present? Because I was turning 16 the week after. Um, and I was like, have you got to get it? Have you picked it up? He was like, it's at home. Do you want to come see it? I was like, yes. <laughs> so he picked me up from my mum's, went down there, opened the doors. It was sat there in the garage and I just fell in love with it. It looked awful. It had no front end. Um, and like, it was... <sighs> The back brakes had like completely stuck on. So like you could see the scrape marks where they had to like drag <laughs> it into the garage. Um, and like the first job was like, right, let's free everything off. Let's get it rolling. And I just remember like putting I, I had my first pair of overalls when I was like six years old or something. And I'd just been like toddling around the yard in them. But this is the first time I was going to like get some use out of these overalls. I was so excited. I was like, look, I'm covered in grease and stains. This is amazing. <laughs> Um, but yeah, f first thing was pretty much full strip down. Um, as I say, it had no front end, but it came with front front um, heritage panels. So I kind of looked out really. I had heritage wings and stuff that came with it in a front panel um, and a couple of other bits. Luckily, my dad is a welder. That is his job. So my body work oh, was wow. just it's handy. Dealt with. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> I kind of, because I was like 15, 16 doing this for the next few years, I had like zero knowledge to deal do with cars. So me and my dad built it together and he was, I mean, there were so many swearing like episodes and so many, what the hell is going on? And so much, pass me this, pass me that. And me going, I want to do it. And like, what do I do with it? Hold the damn torch still. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold the light, give me this, give me that. And I'm like, you should be giving me this and that. I'm building this. So it was just, it was just utter carnage, but I would, wouldn't trade it for the world. It was the most amazing experience. Um, and I had so much fun doing it. And he pretty much did all the welding and bodywork for me, but he was kind of showing me how to like clamp everything up, line everything up. And we were so like intense on getting all the door gaps just so and making sure the sills were this and that. And we'd seen that they'd done some pretty poor repair work to the floors. The, the car has original floors, even to this day, still has original floors, but it's had a whole new front end. It's had new sills. It's had rear arches. It's had a rear valance. It's had part of the boot floor done. It's, we went through the whole thing and he's like braced quite a lot of things too. Cause he just said, if I'm putting you in this car, I want it to be as strong as it's going to be. Um, which was fine with me. Um, but it's still got all its original interior to say that it's like 40 years old. It's still got all its original interior, dash seats, store cards, the lot. Um, and I just remember <laughs> one of like really vivid memories when I was younger was sitting, like sitting on the floor, chiseling out like the tar flooring, <laughs> like to get, yeah, I've oh, get yeah. that out. Yeah, horrid job. Yeah. And I just remembered my dad being like, right, I'm going for my tea. See you in a bit. And I was like, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> Exactly getting all this tar flooring out. Um, nice. But yeah, pretty much a, a full a full re like full nut and bolt restoration really. Um so I was pretty hands on with it. Um I mean through the years there's been the odd the odd thing that I've had to do and I've recently had it like fully resprayed and stuff and for that reason I've had to take the engine back out and back in and I thought seeing as it's off the road I might as well do some good maintenance stuff and he's kind of my dad's kind of like let me run wild with it a bit because he's like right it's time you do stuff on your own if you need me ask me but crack on kind of thing and it's been really good to get a bit more hands-on with it myself and I've, I've had other cars and projects and stuff that I've had to do the same thing with so it's been a, a big life lesson basically but yeah it's still still a thousand engine different different engine and box obviously because it was an auto so it's manual now um i put an rc40 exhaust on it just for better airflow and it just sounded so much nicer than that teeny tiny pea shooter that it, <laughs> that it had um and 10 inch mamba wheels and that's pretty much the only modification mods if you want to call them mods that i've done to it really it's pretty original main, on that. main question is have you finally got that head painted Yes. <laughs> <That's right>. Finally. <laughs> yeah. The engine's been in and out a few times and I finally thought, seeing as it's out and it's on the floor, I can't do anything any damage, so let's get it painted. Yeah. <laughs> so it's all one colour now. <laughs> I think the one thing that um attracted me to this car um originally was obviously the color. It's it's a great color. I don't know if I've ever seen that color in person. It's it's a great yellow, not like I don't know. It's a perfect kind of vintagey yellow. It's um, something, yeah, it's like isn't it? It's not in your face. 
Yeah, yeah pastel, it's like a pastel. Kinda. It's nice. I'm sorry. Pastel. Did you just say pastel? It's pastel. pastel. It's pastel, Mike. <laughs> Listen, we <laughs> under. No, it's not pastel. You guys put oh the wrong God. emphasis it's on the wrong pastel. syllable. Pastel. <laughs> Pastel, like it sounds like you're trying to say like pasta wrong or something. No, it's, pa- it's pasta, not pasta. Pasta. You know when you say a word too many pasta. times, it's to sound <laughs> weird. <laughs> you're ta- you're talking to an Italian over here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, where's the, where's the my, R? My father, the listens, R? My it's father listens to this. He's gonna slap you in the face <laughs> if you say pasta. <laughs> Listen, we we have to listen. We have we have a split across a lot of countries. We have to pronunciate, enunciate, uh, our syllables differently so everyone understands what we're saying. You said torch, I say light. That's just you know how it is. You say pasta, I say pasta, pasta, pa, pasta. <laughs> Anyways, oh, now I, I forgot see. what I was trying to say. <laughs> I was going to say, my Pastel Yorkshire cup. brain's just not computing any of these words. <laughs> my damn Worcestershire sauce brain is just rough right <laughs> now. I know. Pra- Mate, I know. I'm impressed. It's it's my it's my warm-up before the podcast, remember? It's like, instead of how now brown cow, it's Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, he's not lying. It is uh, actually, every time we come on, it's, it is just Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> How do people from Wush, how do people from Worcestershire sound like you know it's like Wush, like is it like a proper more proper or is it a more a little a little grittier you know what I mean It's a lot more grittier I it's mean a little gritty. It, uh, the, yeah the, the, the further, gritty Brits are are my favorite Brits I love so the a gritty further south Brit. you go the more they enunciate their T's and La- Lauren can probably quote me on this I mean I was going to say we definitely like don't appear. <laughs> yeah we definitely Every, don't even know like, what T is yeah. <laughs> When How, upmarket. Wait, give me yeah. an example. On what? Yeah, get your set up, Rod. Yeah, there's no T involved. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Mike's mind sometimes. is just being every say, time. I swear, sometimes when I'm editing these, I'm like, should I put subtitles? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Saying that, right? So my my daily car. I recently had um, Apple CarPlay car. retrofitted. Car doesn't play. understand my accent like at all if i oh, talk no. to it yeah I, I, i've had it in two cars now and i end up being like i end up being like like shouting and swearing at it because i'm just like you don't understand what i'm saying and it'll send me like shouting and swearing to the person i'm texting and i'm like no 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 i'm swearing at the car oh, oh, it's such a nightmare it's just but like a, it'll, just it'll a bunch of characters yeah it'll talk back to me and i'm like that is not what i said oh i just i think oh, I'm I'll text him when I get there. I can't be bothered. I, s- <laughs> I laugh because I set my um, I set my uh, Siri as a British female British voice, and it's like the super proper like robotic one, and it's so funny. Like sometimes that <laughs> she tries to say like these Spanish words. Like a lot of our roads around here are like maybe Spanish derived, and <laughs> it's so funny. Like what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good. That's good shit. I love it. I love it. It'll never get never gets old. Never gets old. Oh man. Anyways, I think we were talking about your pastel pastel color. Oh car. yeah, the mini. Oh yeah. Is that really how you say it? That's what pastel. I'm talking about. Yeah. Car. Oh yeah, that's right. This is a mini podcast. I swear. We should just I'm gonna change the name of this podcast to just what? like life Tangents or and, just yeah. like life yeah. or something, you know, and yeah. just because it, it just ranting. goes off. Yeah, it's fuck. It's it's kind of more fun, you know. To be honest, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the mini is always the most fun thing. But anyways, what r- really drew me to it was obviously the color was great, but kind of like what you alluded to was it's generally stock, and it's just a great mm-hmm. example. And one thing that I really like about cars is you can have a really good stock as an example of a car, and just you know, change the wheels and exhaust and it just transforms it into like yeah. your car then. Right. Like, yeah, it's really cool to see a perfectly pristine with stock wheels, stock, everything like, you know, the, the little purchasing ticket thing that has all the options, you know, on the dash laminated and all that kind of shit. But to like change the wheels is like such a easy thing that just kind of now makes it yours. And I think that's what yeah. really, drew me to this car because it kind of it, it's such a just 
Like, there's really not much you have to do to it. It looks so good as is with just the wheels. So yeah, I think that's so really cool stuff, isn't it? it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I, think I mean, that's why wheels... I like to keep it on tens as well because yes. they just. I thought I was put chunkier, chunky wheels on. Oh, never go for thirty. I just thought, no, nah, corners and handles so much better on tens. And because I have like yep. Balkan tires, they're nothing special. But because they're quite a deep dish, it looks really chunky. And with the carbon yep. stock with the standard arches, it makes it look really beefy. And I didn't think it'd have that vibe. But the second I put them on, I thought, oh, that makes it's it. Got the vibe. Just, that's it's that's got enough. The vibe. I don't need to do anything else. I agree. I agree. Sean should take notes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This I'm I'm a twelve inch guy. <laughs> this, it's just a better wheel choice all round. There's like three twelve inch wheels you can choose from. No 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 no. You you are shopping in the wrong places, my man. <laughs> name, name more than three. Go. Uh, Paddy Hopkirk Mag GTs, Star Mags, uh, the JBW Mambas. You've got the TH. Um, you can get you can light. get you can get Mambas yeah. and Twelves. Yeah, mate. Uh, okay, obviously not the original ones, unlike mm, the both of the, you. Not the originals. Actually, Lauren, I'm going to ask no, you: Have you got the no original offense, center Lauren's. caps with your Mambas? No, no, Lauren Do you doesn't know what? have I'll the original ones. Minor JBs, yeah, minor JBs. Oh, see, let's go. <laughs> I was gonna say those aren't original. <laughs> and I'm not a hit. Listen, I love, I love all the just the design of the Mamba. Actually, wait, did I show you my new art piece that I just found that I had in storage? Hold on a second. Wait, what? So, I swear, um, is it gonna be like the Mamba snake or something? My my mother in law did this for me uh, for my birthday a few years back, and I I just recently found it. Oh my god, is that, that's is so that, cool. Dude, oh, there oh that's sick. That's so cool. But th that's it's, like, it's missing, that it's missing is, the center caps, Mike. Well, it was before I had the center caps. <laughs> <before I had, laughs> that's cool oh, as hell, man. man. I love that. Yeah, well, that's cool. I, I, I low-key want to be a peer sometimes when like somebody like on the Facebook forums will um, or Facebook groups will be like, hey, can you guys show me like your... 10 by 6 Mambas like with X flare or whatever it is and like they they specifically ask for original ones because they want to mm. see like the backspacing and all these people are posting like the the reproduction ones and I'm like yeah, yeah go right. away with your reps and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> sitting there with your top hat and your tuxedo I'm like yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man oh wait also too on the same point, I posted them when I got my center caps. I posted it in um, our group, SoCal Classic Minis. And this one guy who was new to the group, he was like, "Oh, the like he just like he wasn't being mean, but he was like, oh, the original ones have the the valve stem.' And this is a hot topic, by the way. So we can we can go off on tangent if you want. The original ones have the valve stem going like kind of straight. Mm. Um, and uh, I was like, oh well, there's a lot of debate about that because there's apparently those were like the early models and they also had like the ones that come out at an angle and he was just kind of going back and forth again not being mean and then finally one of like uh, this and this mini guru that's um actually i think he's from scotland so he's you know kind of by you guys originally from scotland and he lives over here now graham um, oh yeah we had graham on the podcast you know graham <laughs> you sean you know graham <laughs> Anyway, he came. He came to my rescue. He was like, "Nope, that you're wrong. Here, here's mine with those." Things. I was like, "Yeah," <laughs> and we just walked away hand in hand with our top hats on, riding yeah. off into the sunset. <laughs> yeah, <literally. laughs> making fun of Lauren's reps. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah. Would you Would you ever go up to twelve inch, or are you a, a through and through ten inch girl now? <laughs> I just. <laughs> no. <laughs> Size, wow, guys. we're just we're just about to get cancelled. So uh, yeah, yeah good seeing you guys. Not, it's not about size, guys. Um, no, I'm gonna <laughs> stick with tens. Gonna stick with tens. Ten inch club, baby. Yeah, yeah. fair play, fair play. Yeah, well, just all I'm gonna so say is you guys better. are missing out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my first wheels on my car were thirteen by sixes. Um, I don't know. Have you guys ever heard of a? I, I believe it was called Melber. Melber. It was like a German company. Have you heard of that? Mel no. No, hold on, let me Thanks let up. me say it for you. Melba. Yeah. <laughs> Me Melba. Oh, no. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, no. Oh uh, uh, yeah. It was really obscure. I, I hadn't seen them before on minis. I, I, one other guy I've seen 
over the you know years has has them but i think they're more of like a vw wheel but they were really cool they um they were kind of like the mesh spoke and they looked really cool but they were just mm. way too big yeah 13s are way way too big yeah it was just a lot like of ch- fit. no i did i yeah. have seen I, I did see a clubman a few years back which had 14s on and it was huge. It was literally sitting like a monster truck. Yeah, I was going to mm-hmm. say, that would be like massive. Mm-hmm. It's a shame because uh, they were actually a really cool design, Will, but just. Yeah. yeah. Our, uh, well, at the time of this, um, the, the episode is probably already out now, but um, we had uh, um, Anthony on uh, a, I forget his Instagram off the top of my head, a Paul something something, A-P-O-L something. He's got mm. 15s on there. Cool. His is a radical car, though. Have you guys seen that? It's um, this crazy custom wide body with like these 15s or 16s. I forget. They're huge, but he has this wild wide body on it, and it's a pretty crazy mini build. I was gonna say you'd have to with 15s on just yeah. to even get the turning circle. Yeah, yeah it's a, I was it's say, a crazy you definitely build. scrub with that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a, it's an insane build. You know, you'll you'll see it in when it comes out, but. uh the people are probably like, we've already seen that walking around with the top hats on. So anyway. yeah, get with the program. Yeah. Yeah, damn, those, damn Brits and their top hats, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, so not not a ton of uh, modifications to the car. You just kind of been driving it and enjoying it. And um, at any point, was it actually like your daily driver? Like, like you kind of planned yeah. as a, your first car was? Yeah. Yeah, it was my first car. I daily driver for four years. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, yeah. I was, oh, I was committed to the classic life. And you know what? I think it let me down once. It let me down once. I was um, I was an estate agent, so I did I did sales. Um, I'm, I'm, still in, I'm still in property. Um, but I was like go into viewings and stuff in the car mm. and the amount of houses i sold just through pure conversation about the car because you get all like walks of life come into like view houses obviously so they, they'd come and chat to you about oh that was my first car and then you'd get a bit of a rapport with them and then later on they're ringing you up and like oh is it you with the mini i'm like yes it is yep. do you want to buy this house yes <laughs> and it's like excellent <laughs> or you get people with like kids and they want to see it and like i just met so many people and sold so many houses <laughs> um through doing viewings just in it, to me it was like yeah, it's just my car but i got so many like conversations out of people through it because it was just of interest um but yeah it was my daily driver it let me down once on the way to work when the pin fell out of the gear linkage and it was stuck in fourth gear and i just couldn't oh. go anywhere <laughs> Jeez. um oh. and another time i never really take it on the motorway but for this one particular reason i did um where, where did i go now it was imm bristol and i got it all the way down there all the way back absolute dream not a problem at all the one time i decided to do a short journey on the motorway the um coil and dizzy just burnt themselves out and just stopped on the motorway that was that was a bit embarrassing because oh, no. um, oh, no. i had the I had the nine volt so it wasn't enough and i must have just been cooking it like it just wasn't happy at all and i just remember like finally getting it off the motor because there was no hard, hard shoulder and i was like i'm gonna die i'm gonna die and i managed to finally let it cool down for a little bit get it running and i absolutely caned it to the services and it cut out in the in the entrance of the services and i had to get out the car and push my own mini into like this p- car park full of people in their wagons and they were all like watching me <laughs> push my own mini across the car park it was so embarrassing and by the time i'd managed to get into the car parking space this guy came walking over with a drink and he was like hey, well, I just need some help i was like no i've got it thanks like just done the hard bit <laughs> did he walk up oh, and was no. like you're right yeah. <laughs> you're right, mate. Hey, yeah, old ducky, you're then. right. Yeah, now then. You're right, mate. Like, oh, you go. need some help. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. so oh, funny. what have you done? I was like, I've not done anything. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> <I'm not laughs> oh, man. That's Jeez. so funny. <laughs> what have you done then? Oh, man. That's good. No, that's funny. I, I've taken my, uh, I take my mini um, to like business meeting. I'm in the real estate industry as well. And I take it to meetings sometimes. And it always, especially here, always brings up uh, 
some sort of conversation, but I've had people like, oh, you're the one with the car, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do have a car. I do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. Yeah. I, I that's love taking cool. my car to work. Um, I, I used to, well, I remember going to uh, one of my property management jobs ages ago, and I'd, I'd not told anyone that I had it. Like I just kind of kept it under wraps. And it was a summer's day, and I was going to the motorist after work, and it wasn't far from where I worked. So I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna take the car to work today, park it up in the car park, and I'll go to the motorist straight after instead of going home and faffing around. And everyone just went mad. They were like since when do you have this and i was like well since i was like 15 <laughs> um, and i was like taking photographs of it out of the window of the office and i was like take your kid to work there <laughs> yeah, was yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> oh it's the best yeah, yeah it makes it fun. makes going to like something like that so much more enjoyable driving your, yeah. your cool car to work yeah it makes you in a cool good mood for, for the rest of the day knowing it that really does your yeah yeah, yeah, you really do feel like you are cool. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. Well, it's Sean. It's like we talk about. It's that energy that that you kind of get from. It. It's like you, f you know, like mm -hmm. I don't know. It's not like driving like a Lambo, but it like it, it feels like that to me. You know, like yeah. I feel like yeah. a badass in it, that car. Yeah. It, gives you, it gives you a massive confidence boost as well. It does. Yeah, yeah, it does. I find it so well, funny. It goes well. Yeah, well, yeah, when it actually gets you there, <laughs> I? I find it so funny though, because like I didn't tell anybody, and loads of people like, "Is there that many in the car park?" And I'm like, feeling like Billy Big Bollocks, like, "Yeah, it's mine." <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be my new, my new favorite one. <laughs> Billy Big Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> you never heard that before, Mike. <laughs> no. Oh my god. <laughs> Lauren, I think you've literally just broken mic. Actually crying. It just caught me off guard. I don't know. It's like you talk You guys have you guys have so many like slang you guys love slang. It's so know. much it's fun. So fun. It's the best. Oh my god. We I think it's also too because it's like I think Americans like slang too, but like we don't say the same slang words and it that just caught me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm gonna be using that now. Oh, Billy Big Bollocks over here with his friend, <laughs> his freaking Tesla Cybertruck. Like, oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, what a faff. Tell me about it, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that was a good one. Oh, man. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, <laughs> back to the show. Moving on. Moving uh, on. <laughs> oh, man. So. The other thing I want to talk about is, um, you know, you, you dabble in some modeling here and there and, and some of the, some of the best shots on your, your, uh, Instagram is you modeling with Sunny. Like, it, mm -hmm. you know, you have some, you do a good, like, um, kind of pinup vibe. Uh, I love old school <laughs> Americana, um, kind of vibe thing. And you have some with your, your mini, uh, kind of with that, that pinup vibe. How did you kind of get into modeling and did you ever think you were going to be, uh modeling with your, your car when you turned fit when you were 15 and picked it up <laughs> no absolutely not no like i kind of fell into it really it wasn't even something i was like trying to get into it was just uh i'd, I'd finished school i was working and someone that was actually in like the year above me i i was friends with her on facebook i'd seen that she'd been doing some photography stuff um, and she just randomly messaged me out of the blue and she was like, hiya, I think your car's really cool. Um, do you fancy like taking some photos for me? She was like, like photos with me. She was like, you know, I'm trying to build my portfolio. I just kind of want someone to have cool stuff to take pictures of. And she was like, and would Faff you be about. up for like doing, yeah, she was like, do you fancy doing some modeling? And I was like, modeling? I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, all right. But it was never something that I'd ever really considered. Um, I mean, I was no, like, I don't know. I was a bit of a selfie fiend back at back when that <laughs> was all the rage at school. But uh, I won't be caught dead taking that many selfies now. But Sorry, you should was, see Mike's uh... MySpace page. <laughs> <laughs> it was very yeah, emo. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I literally met up with her and we had a bit of a laugh. We took some photos and stuff and they were, like, really well received. And she said, Do you know what? It'd be really cool to get some photographs of your mini or you with your mini. And I've got a friend who's a photographer, but I want to kind of like shadow him for the day. And she was like, would you be okay with him taking some photographs and me just kind of getting some pointers off him? And will you just turn up basically? 
And I was like, yeah, sound, no problem. Took the car down. We did a bit of a pin-up vibe. My friend Ellie did my hair and my makeup because I'm useless with that kind of stuff. Um, and it ended up being like this big thing. Like there's one photograph of me from that day that had like 2,000 likes. And I was like, oh my God, this was not expected. Um, and like my followers went up and like people seemed to be really into this like little duo thing that like me and the mini had going and I was like let's keep doing this and then I started like getting in touch with um new people who had uh Facebook pages like I'm part of the West Yorkshire Models group on Facebook and people kind of like drop me a message now when they're like can I work with you and I'm like I never thought people would be asking me to work with them it was just me going anyone want to shoot today and now people are coming to me and I was like oh my god um it's not really something that I've dropped that three times. <laughs> it's not really something um, that I kind of do very often, but when we do do it, it seems to come out so well. And this pin-up theme just seems to be a reoccurring thing, and I've just we've just kind of rolled with it basically. Um, and a couple of people have kind of got in touch that want to try something a bit different. Like I worked with a guy called Nish, and he wanted to do something that was totally different. He wanted like neon lighting and he wanted me in like a tutu and a leather jacket and like my, my biker <laughs> boots and I was like eh? and we went to Leeds and we were parked on this like rooftop car park and honest to god the photographs came out and I just thought oh my god like it was just wicked something totally different and that again a thousand likes really well received and I just thought this is so much fun it's really good social pushes you out of your comfort zone and you actually mm-hmm. get some decent photographs of yourself at the end of it because I'm rubbish at taking mm-hmm. photographs of myself. And if someone takes a photo of me, I'm like, delete it. <laughs> but yeah. at least they've taken like 300 and they'll edit a good one. I'm like, yeah, yeah, go, go with that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it was it was totally random, but it's just kind of snowballed from there. And it's been so much fun. And I've kind of got back into it a little bit and I've got a shoot book tomorrow and I really hope it goes ahead because I feel like my confidence has gone a little bit because I've not done it for a while especially with the car being off the road for a year so I'm hoping that we don't get rained off and it actually goes ahead tomorrow but yeah it's it it was just something that I never really thought would happen it's just kind of happened (laughs) so yeah it's something that I've enjoyed doing. No it's really cool I mean I I think what kind of um, I really love about the pinup style, well, one, I love like old school Americana, that kind of vibe, that era, but seeing it with a mini is really cool, really interesting. And I think that might, you know, really click with people because it's like, oh, look at the mini, look at the pinup. Like, it's like not what you normally see. It's like a hot rod or something like that, yeah, which is also that, very cool. I think but that was, was good, the other good thing. Vibe. Yeah, I think that was the other thing. Like, they were seeing something, like, totally British with something that's not really yeah. classed as that. But they worked yeah. so well together. And, like, I, yeah. I feel really self-conscious in, like, studio environments because I've not got anything to kind of, like, work with. It's just you there in a studio with, like, the odd prop. But when your car's your prop, you can do yeah. anything with it and really work with it. And it's just it's just it's just turned out really well it was really like kind of unexpected combo that's just blown up really it's it's, it's been good fun i mean don't get me wrong i'm no professional or anything but it's 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 been good to kind of learn and when people are then like asking me to do work and i'm kind of doing the odd poses that i've kind of picked up on and thought oh yeah that works that doesn't work um it's been kind of a bit of a routine almost but it's it's really strange and sometimes i get there and i think oh my god what am i doing like oh I'm so rusty like just bear with and we'll get a couple of shots we'll have a bit of a laugh and then once I've kind of sunk into it I'm like right okay let's get the doors open let's sit here let's do that let's stand on this it just seems to go from there it's, it's good fun it's good I like doing that well, well you should give Sean some pointers he's our in-house um, <laughs> model for mini life over here um, so we need to uh, you know up our game a little bit Thanks, so. yeah get, get some pin up outfits going <laughs> Yes, yes, <laughs> I think we should. We should short do that. Shorts. Oh, oh uh, yeah, I'll get some know, one 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 shorts going on there. Yeah, one Daisy Dukes oh my going. God, one one eight. No one wants to see that, I promise you. <laughs> yeah, you want more followers, not less. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> you never know, might entice them in. Well, yeah, it might. You never know. It'll bring in a new audience. <laughs> that's one way of putting it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Well, Lauren, are you ready for a little Patty Probe action? 
Okay, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely getting cancelled. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, this one's not even airing. <laughs> <laughs> uh lauren question number one for those that are listening and maybe this is your first episode the patty probe is a set of questions that we ask our guests that are potentially controversial uh many questions but um just a fun set of questions that we ask everybody so we can kind of compare and contrast answers so first question let's do this i'm gonna, I'm gonna spin it up here we usually ask what's your favorite mini variant but let's go with what's your least favorite mini variant oh god um <clears throat> do you know what? I, it's gonna sound really harsh but like the clubbies <gasps> lauren that's it's, why it's, we it's, ask these questions oh, baby it's, it's love gonna it sound really bad but it's like they're so boxy and minis are not boxy <laughs> Just, I see your point. Not, it it kind of like they slapped a random front end on the mini. Yeah, it almost didn't. It didn't seem right. But like either the either the clubbies <laughs> or like nineties minis, and that's only because they started cheaping out and cutting corners. Mm. So that's that's my reasoning for the nineties and the clubbies. I just think that the whole essence of a mini is just the round smiley front, and they're, they're just not. They're all scary and boxy. <laughs> So, that makes sense. I think if it's a club in it, it looks better as an estate because those are kind of boxy. Yeah. You reckon? You don't think? No, I prefer the saloons. I, d I, like... I don't dislike the saloon. I'm just saying, I think the although to go to go along with Lauren, like the boxy of the front end with the the estate <laughs> box. No, I think I think it looks aggressive. It's... I think it looks hard as nails, but. Hard a Riley nails. Elf or a Woolsey Hornet with the club in front end on would be that that one that you sent me was pretty cool. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. lie. Well, if they're heavily uh... modified, I can kind of get on board with them. I can kind of get on board with them. Thank God you said that, Lauren, because I was literally about to walk out. Yeah, no. <laughs> if, they're, if they're like, if they're heavy modified, they can look badass. I think I, one, yeah. one of my favorite clubbies is. Um, Matthew Bibby's. I absolutely loved his clubman. His was his was really nicely done, and I got the chance to see it in person at IMM years ago, and it, it was it was it was a good one. So I'm not I'm not against clubbies. I just think it's one of my least favorite other nineties nineties <laughs> builds. So that's fair. Very, very that's specific fair. taste. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably getting uh, let's see. <laughs> You're losing followers for both of us at, as we speak, so it's okay. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't even add this um, one. It's fine. I'll understand. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Uh, do you have any hot takes or controversial opinions about minis or the mini community? Um, I don't think I do. You know, do you know, I found the mini community to be one of the safest spaces ever. Everyone mm -hmm. has just been so helpful and so nice. And I've never really received any like hate, if you like. Everyone's yeah. just been dead friendly, dead fun. I mean, I, I mean I've, I've got a Mark 1 Golf project and I've found that the VW groups aren't <laughs> like that. <laughs> Some of them are dead nice clicky. and helpful. Some of them are dead nice well, and helpful, but then you get others that are very like quick to jump damn on you. Got big got over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're very quick to jump on you if you don't know something or if you're querying something. And it's like, well, you should know if you've got one. It's like, but God, that's why I'm here. <laughs> use think, the search function. Yeah, use Google UK. Yeah. I haven't really asked have this anything in a against that. Yeah, no, I, I, I somewhat agree. Um, there, There's... The mini community as a whole is is very helpful, very kind people, and we just all love the car so much for some reason. And that kind of segues yeah. into the next question is, what, why do you think the mini, what, what makes it so uniquely special? Like, why is it that we have this community that's generally amazing and we all love this weird car so much? I think you've just got to have a certain mindset if you're going to own, like, own a Mini. Like, everybody seems to be pretty like-minded. They've got to go into it with their eyes open, knowing that this is not a car that you can just 
own and that be it like it's continued love it's continued maintenance it's it's well it's like I, I call Sonny my son I'm like oh, he's, he's like my little my little baby he's like my little kid like I'm always looking after him and checking on him and and I feel like anybody else who's got that kind of passion for a classic is going to be is going to be very similar to anyone else that's got one and I think that that's that's mm-hmm. just something that you kind of figure out very very quickly or already know and want to get, be a part of and I think if, if anyone ever kind of put something in a group or or put something out there about wanting to get into it or anything I'd never ever discourage it because it was the best thing that ever happened to me and mm-hmm. I think I think everybody else kind of would say the same probably I think the, the people that come with it and the things you learn and just the smiles for miles pretty much is just no, nothing else really compares to it I don't think I couldn't agree more well said well said <laughs> I would like to end it on that one, but we always end it on this one. So, <laughs> <laughs> if you could have a drink with uh, a, a coffee, beer, tea, whatever your drink of choice is, um, Worcestershire sauce for Sean, with one mini celeb, who would it be and why? Oh my god, a mini celeb! And, you I know, feel like I just I use that loosely, celeb, like uh, you know, someone famous or you know, obviously somebody you in and the- I, Mike community I was it could just be say it. Yeah. you guys i just yeah I'd it love could to be uh, for you guys <laughs> you know it could be we've had a lot of answers it's just what you know anyone that pops into mind anyone many many or many adjacent related how about that many adjacent related i don't know you know i feel like anyone that i've ever kind of like met up with in the mini scene i want to have a pint with <laughs> like i just nice. get with, i get on with the majority to be fair one of my favourite memories was going down to IMM and finally meeting people that I'd been speaking to forever. Yes. And like one of my one of my like one of my best friends, like John Leake. I absolutely love John. One of my best memories Leakey. of meeting John for the Leakey first boy. time. Yeah, one of my first <laughs> ever memories of meeting with John was he like found me in the corner of this field, like at, at IMM. I'd like pitched up my tent and everything. I'd got the car parked. I was like, right. Let's go and meet some people. And he just rocked up with Will Murphy and he had on his roof rack um, a set of optics. And he was like, it's Lauren. And I was like, it's John. And the two of us were absolutely buzzing that we'd finally met. And I drank all his rum and he drank all of whatever he was drinking. <laughs> and we had such a laugh. And it was just such a good weekend to like finally meet up with everyone and have a drink with everybody. And I just feel like celeb or not, if you've got a minute, I'm happy to have a pint with you. I'll have someone to talk about. <laughs> I, oh, yeah. I really, really like that answer because it, yeah. it, that's one of my favorite things is, uh, you know, meeting some of these Instagram people that we become good friends. Like, oh, okay. mm-hmm. it's kind of weird to think about, right? Like, I've never met you in real life if, at all, but we were like, actually, like, honestly, Sean, <laughs> we, we're like we've really good met. friends and we've literally <laughs> never met <laughs> ever. Say, we speak uh, every day. We're like, we're almost joined at the hip sometimes, aren't we? Yeah, yeah that's such crazy, a great feeling. I do like that. That's a great answer. See, that's another good one. We can just it end is. on that right there. Yeah, I love that. I love that. <laughs> Lauren, I appreciate you being on. Um, everyone go check out her Instagram, Lauren underscore G underscore L win E L W I N. Uh, check out our mini sunnies back on the road for the meet and greet and show season. I hope that you guys um, are all going out, getting out in the maybe two weeks of sunny weather over there in the UK. Um, <laughs> uh, anything else you want the, to the, let the people know? Anything else? I don't think so. I think it's nice to just finally get the opportunity to have a chat with you guys and waffle some rubbish and <laughs> just appreciate what we all all love <laughs> oh, such a faff about over here we love it um oh, everyone go follow bollocks. yeah <laughs> <Billy Big Bollocks. laughs> never gonna live that one down am i <laughs> oh, i love that dude i'm getting it's that tattooed across my chest <laughs> billy big bollocks that's my next dog's name oh no love that Love that. Um, everyone go follow minilife.37 on the socials. Uh, you can check me out, Gold Tooth Cray. You got Scrapyard over here. Obviously, Lauren <laughs> underscore G underscore Elwin and our lovely partners in crime, Mountainy Classic. Check them out. Minilife10 for a nice little discount on their website. 
mountainclassic.co.uk. I got it right that time. Hey. Um, yeah. How I about buying some it. merch? You can always do that. You can Stickers, do that. Hats, There's just so many t-shirts, things now. You know? So many th- I do, you know, oh, shoot. Represent. I do. Uh, we do have <laughs> two different stickers nowadays. We do. Um, they're quite lovely. We have the classic. The OG. Seven, the new G mini life podcast. I had to put that damn uh, at symbol on there. <laughs> sons of bitches. <laughs> but, but, um, <laughs> yeah, we're not going there. But anyways, we got that. We have a mountainy classic mini life shirt. Awesome black has a sweet little uh, faffing about um, scene on the bout uh, on the bout on the bout on the bout about but but that dog. Um, <laughs> yeah, go check it out. We have hats. We have stickers. We got tees, and uh, maybe maybe some prints coming up soon. Mm, I don't know. Who knows? Hopefully, mm, so yeah. keep your eyes peeled over at mini life thirty seven dot big cartel. Yep. No. Uh. Yep. Mini life thirty seven. <laughs> yes. Dot big, no. No. It's mini mini life thirty seven. Dot big cartel. Dot com. Links Ooh. in the links in the bio. Smash that. Smash that like button. <laughs> smash that subscribe button. Just go smash it, and we will catch you guys on the next one. See you later. Cheers, Lauren. Bye. You're right, mate. <laughs>